Hello Legends, welcome to Apex Legends Savers. Coming May 10, there is new details for the new upcoming map update for Storm Point. Let's go! Monstrous Storm Point, face the danger and claim the rewards that await you in the belly of the down beast on Storm Point Shore. Take a look. Unfortunately, I believe it, yep, it takes me to an error code. But luckily, there is a uh, blog post from Dex... De Dexecto? I don't know how you pronounce that. But there's a blog post. April last season 13, Storm Point map changes. New down piece POI. I believe this is essentially just what the, the blog post that supposed to be from EA. Uh, I don't know why it's down, but it's down. So here we go. Well, let's read it through. Let's go. Season 30 of Apex is on the verge of kicking off. And while the community is excited about the new arrival of Newcastle, which is the new legend we are getting to play. A lot of players are focused on the significant changes coming to Stoneport. Although the tropical landscape was only introduced to Apex back in Season 11, it has so far split opinion in the player base. So in Saviors, Respawn is looking to freshen up the experience by adding a new POI and a new way to upgrade your weapons. As showcased in the launch trailer, a giant beast attacked Storm Point but was defeated by the Legends. This, this sea creature is now a new POI for players to explore and loot during their matches. Let's go. Finally, IMC armor, armories are now scattered across the map in a variety of location giving competitors a chance to upgrade their gear if they can survive an onslaught of specter so that's the new uh new people uh i guess environmental <laughs> characters that is in the game for storm point you know like there's the flyers which is the dragon wind dragons <laughs> that is in the sky they sometimes you could shoot and they drop the uh dead uh dead loot of players <laughs> and also there's the prowler's nest which spawned in the prowlers so there's now gonna be our armories imc armories slash specters across the map that you'll be able to kill <laughs> The most significant change coming to Stone Point in Season 3 is definitely the new Down Beast POI that allows players to fight inside the carcass of a giant dead sea creature. A high tier loot area, Down Beast is filled to the brim with top tier items, especially in the belly of the beast, which will no doubt be heavily contested at the start of the match. However, with buildings surrounding the washed up monstrosity, it may be worth setting up in the power position outside the animal to catch unsuspecting enemies off guard or even use the gravity can to get on top of the creature. So here it is. This is this is the area. I wish I could click this in to make it full screen, but I can't. So they essentially changed this area right here. This is the before picture right this has to be the, yeah this is the before this is uh storm Point season 11 so they changed this area which i do kind of land here i thought the, i thought it was like this area that they changed like over here but they changed this this whole poi over here and i believe there's no longer a gravity cannon that way but i don't know <laughs> it looked like it, there is one uh, who knows i wish they there was another uh before and after pick but there is it it's worth knowing that the Down Beast POI hasn't replaced any other location on the Storm Point, so the mill and North Pad will remain un intact. Either way, this is without that one of the most unique POIs that have been ever added to the Apex, and it's almost guaranteed to be a hot drought located for the, un for the foreseeable future. So, this is the only area they, they change. From what I gather from here, <laughs> Storm Point Armories, which is a new location that you could go and loot for. Let's go. Following the seismic. Activity caused by the giant beast on the storm point coastline. Dormant IMC armies have risen up from the ground across the map. These mini event areas give players a chance to take on waves of spectres, and in return, they'll be able to upgrade their weapons with better hop ups and attachments. The reward for surviving the 60 seconds, 60 seconds onslaught come in the form of smart loot bins which cater upgrades to the specific load. I mean, you're always going to receive useful items. If you're looking for a full breakdown, or right, it's going to continue from here. So, from what I gather, you're going to have to fight for 60 seconds. So, that's, <laughs> there is going to be a uh, third party is going to come into these areas. Hopefully, there's a lot scattered around. So, you know. So here is how IMC work in April Legends. Get high tier loot by fighting waves of specters. Brand new for Apex Legends Season 13, IMC armies are going to be your favorite new drop location. You'll be able to drop in and get high tier loot as long as you can defeat the enemy's specter inside. Here's how IMC armies work in Apex. As a result, 
All right, this is the same thing as before. These new locations, four of them in total. There's four total. Provide a total new experience for players. Allow them to get protection from third parties, engage in PvE combat, and get some much needed loot as reward. Protection from third parties? Wait, you... so you tell me once you start here, the, uh, no, no other players could go inside? Hmm. That's interesting. The armies are automated combat support structures, which contain weapons as well as hordes of specters originally designed to support pilots. To use them, you'll first have to approach and a ramp will extend, granting access. You can then use a button inside to activate the army to get access to the loot inside. However, this is protected by the specters. So here's the here's a picture. There's weapons there and there. Cool. But the, I guess these are in the trailer. If the gameplay trailer, it looked like the specters came out of these uh, two. But they also look like they were specters uh, hanging from the sky, from the ceiling, that may could drop. <laughs> I don't know. After pressing the button, you'll start a six-second PVE counter with the specters. While activate, the armory will be locked and unassable by other teams, meaning you're protected from third parties while inside. That is actually kind of cool. That's really cool. You, oh. So at first I thought there was going to be third party because then, you, you know, you're, you're fighting and of course you're going to hear it. Just kind of like how you'll, you know, engage in a prowlers, especially by uh, Atena, that big place <laughs> where you shoot the prowlers. A lot of players like to go there when they start hearing uh, gunshots. But now from here, it looks like this is all closed off. <laughs> Hopefully it, it's... Uh, like once the once you eliminate all of them, hopefully it stays closed for a little bit more seconds, maybe like ten, like I don't know, another twenty seconds, so that you could you know gear up whatever is inside here first, and then it opens so you can engage. And also maybe players will could camp this area, but I don't know if you would. I don't know. And then another thing will be if a, if a final circle ends in this area, why not start the. Uh, Sequence and it locks up like for 60 seconds. That's 60 seconds is like a long time Hmm interesting 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 If you survive the for the full 60 seconds, you'll be granted smart loot from smart loot bins This loot is specifically tailored to enhance your current loader providing you with upgrades to whatever you currently have Oh Okay, this is really good So that means you could come in here have like a r 3 one and get a uh, Extended mags <laughs> or have a I have a wingman and get the fast reload Ooh, I forgot what it's called quick reload or something like that a fast reload. That's pretty nice Yeah, get it add-ons for some of the loose that you for guns that typically kind of hard to find Ah, cool There's more the more expected you defeat in the six seconds the more loot you will receive. Oh to get out of the army, you have two choices. Exit the way you came in or get blasted up into the sky for a redeploy. <laughs> okay, so this is actually my question. Like, would people camp outside? If you get, if you have an option to redeploy, I guess why not redeploy? Right? So this is like, this could also be another strategy for like kind of balloons and stuff. Like, because on Stormport, there's, there's only one balloon. And now there's... With this, you could go to the sky and read the. Oh, that's interesting. Really interesting. I wonder. I, I'm really uh, uh, excited how this is going to play out. There are four IMC armies on Stormport: northeast of Checkpoint, south east of Lightning Rod, between Gale Station and Fishmore, north or Sinoid Cave. And I wish I could see this bigger. I can't see this bigger. <laughs> I wish I could see this whole lot bigger. This map. I can't. I tried to click it to full screen, but I can't. Uh, can I open a new tab to see? Oh, there we go. I did not know I could do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Look at this. So I see army here is is this icon. So there's one right here. Fish farms at Gale Station. Okay, this is like like a cool place. This area, uh, kind of like to land <laughs> for loot, but typically for getting kills is not that great because you're kind of far away a little bit. So there's one there. And there's one right here. Oh, the Mill Kino Cave. Oh, this is gonna be a cool area now. And I know the uh, I know final some final circle ends like right here, legit, as well, like right here in this this area. So this is like one of the places where like if if this not been activated, like why not go in and 
safely secure yourself for a minute. Especially if circle is closing in. Hmm. So there's four. There's one up here, the wall, north pad. Oh wait. I thought the the down beast was up here at north pad. No, it's not. It's like a complete new area, like right here. So the mill is here. Oh yeah, this uh this area used to be just a, a gravity can that you could cross this way. Oh, now this is issue. This is like this map change is like really, really interesting now. Now that I know, like I thought, I thought it was like I thought they replaced Norpad completely, because it looked like it in the picture, but no, they didn't. So the graphic can is there. So, oh, now now it's gonna be tricky because typically some players will land here instead of here, so loot up here, and then push up this area. But now that there's these two, now that you could either push here or here. Like this area, like used to, uh, from my experience, it's been uh, like a hot zone. Like a lot of players like to land around in this area, and then some players decide to land here so they could not, you know, they get get looted and then push here. So oh, that's kind of cool. And then there's the one older over here. So that's four, though, right? One, two, three, four. This one, I don't know. I don't think this is gonna be that useful, but I guess. Like I hardly land up here at all. But I do know the uh, one of the final circle ends like right here, right? What kind of thing? Oh no, there's also one that ends here in Thunderwatch, and here as well. Yeah, from my experience, there's been one circle, one only been had one circle that ends here. But I've been uh, a bunch of times that the circle ends like right here, and then once also later ended right here, which was kind of weird. <laughs> But interesting. Crafting system? Holy, hold up, hold up. R301 and Rampage is in the crafting system? What? I just checked on my... Yo, this this image has a lot of... A lot of details for just a small image. I didn't check. Crafting system? What? R301 is in the crafting... Oh my god. <laughs> I know R3 was like a really good gun, especially for a lot of uh, newer players because it barely has recoil, to be honest. <laughs> but that was in the crafting machine and the Rambo is in the crafting machine. So the Flatline and Longbow is now back on the ground. That That's the only thing what it means. So Flatline and Longbow is back on the ground. Uh, I know my friend, my friend, <laughs> really loves the Flatline, so he'll be hella excited that now it's on the ground so he could go and find one. Because <laughs> he, uh, he did he did occasionally craft the flatline, but he said it's not worth crafting the guns because you could craft the the you know the these other things. Also, I typically craft uh, shield batteries, <laughs> so there's that that reward thing. But now that well, at least the rampage is in the crafting machine, so that means there's gonna be less rampage going around. It's kind of cool. I think this is great. And the R thirty one what? Oh my god. I got so much information from just this one image right here alone. So now that, that alright, this is uh alright, I gotta take a little little bit setback. So alright. So now there's the uh, new IMC armory. There's four though across the map. You can see them here. Uh once the once the season starts, I get to I'm gonna land all these areas so you could exactly know where they are because uh you know viewing the map is pretty hard. And then the new POI is right here, down beast, and the crafting system has <laughs> changed. Holy hell. Let's go back. Why why Apex added uh armories? We spoke to Samantha Coleman, game designer on Apex Legends, who led to the design of AMC. Samantha highlighted that, in particular, novice players will benefit from the armies because they provide a practice area of sort, free from being attacked on all sides, and ability to get some good loot before having to face human opposition. While some players might not be interested in the PvE side of things, Kalman and the team expect this and are hoping that the armies will give a feeling of choice and decision making to players. Either go there early to get your match off to a strong start or use them sparingly, maybe just when there's a lull in the action. For now, Kalman said IRC will only be available on Stormborn, but the team is, isn't ruling out adding them to other maps if they, provide, if they prove popular with players. Cool. That's it for the details. There's nothing else uh, so far. I know there's gonna be there's a new whole new rank uh, update that's gonna be 
coming to season 13 so probably that's more more details on that later and also of course newcastle like buildings and stuff so but this is the new details for season 13 hopefully you guys are excited for the upcoming changes in season in apex legends until next time hopefully you enjoyed the video thank you for watching bye bye